for this project, we are going to use the Maker Forte Haunted House Slimline. This is a set that came out last year. However, it is still available as of this recording on the website. So I will go ahead and link that down in the description below. So this comes with the stamp, the matching stencil, and it actually even comes with little negative pieces. Um, so if there was something else you wanted to like mask off with this, you absolutely could. So I'm gonna set the stamp aside for right now. I have some white card stock down on my mat. And I was playing around with some different color combinations. So you're gonna see like there's some other color on here. But we are going to use um, three Maker Forte inks for our background on this. We're gonna use English Mustard, Red Luster, and Telephone Box. And I am just gonna go ahead and tape now it's over there, down here. Tape my stencils down onto my paper here. Um, I could use Pixie Spray, except that is not where I want to tape that piece of it down because I'm covering up part of my side there. Let's fix that. I don't think I just pulled the tape off the other side there, but that's okay. All right. That one down, and then I'm actually going to grab some smaller blending brushes. This is if you're at where I put them yesterday. <laughs> there they are. Okay, so I do have some smaller ones here because I'm going to want a little bit smaller in a couple of places here. So I'm going to start with English mustard, which is our lightest color. Come in here at the bottom. Do I want it at the bottom or the top? I think we're going to come in at the bottom with our with our yellow. This is English mustard. I just want to be kind of careful since I'm not using um, the uh, what you want to call it pixie spray on my little trick-or-treaters down here at the bottom that I don't get too aggressive and end up kind of bending those because that can kind of happen sometimes with stencils. Okay, so we've got our English mustard down. We're going to come in with the red luster, which is an orange. And even though it says red luster, it's actually a type of cheese <laughs> um, that is very much an orange color. So we're going to kind of blend that in there. And I'm going to come in down into our yellow just a little bit. Come back with some more of that. Kind of blend those two together. And I am using the Perfect blend cardstock from Maker Forte, which is super, super smooth, really easy to get a good layer of ink down on. But I honestly don't know if I've blended on it before. A little bit different than what I'm used to, but that's okay. And then the last color we're going to come in with is Telephone Box, because this is a nice red. Okay. So we're going to come in up top with that. We want to kind of go both directions. I tend to kind of blend in a circle. Um, I know that's not how everybody does it. It's, I think, somewhat common. I've seen I've seen it a lot of times um, that people do it that way. But honestly, this does blend really nicely on here. Okay. On this side, a little bit more right up there. Okay. And I'm going to back one more time with my red luster and kind of just blend the two colors together. OK, 
Okay. We're good to go there. And like I do with most craft stuff, I'm like, I don't know. Sometimes I do it too fast. This is definitely one of those cases. One of those things I tend to do it a little bit fast, but that's okay. So I'm gonna move our inks out of the way for right now. And I'm gonna pull this up. now stamp our little seam. I'm going to move this out of the way for just a minute, but I do need to trim this down just a touch so that it will fit in the misty. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to make sure I don't have ink on my fingers before I go touching this because I know how this will end. <laughs> And what I have found works really well when you're just trying to get ink really quickly off your fingers. Honestly, hand sanitizer. Tends to get most of the ink off. At least so you're not gonna be leaving little inky fingerprints because Lord knows I have done that more than once. Okay, let's get those out of the way. And we will end up trimming this whole panel down um, before we put it on our card base, but so I have my Brutus Monroe stamp and stick mat. I do need to cut just a tiny bit more off the end of this because it is a slim line. I just can't quite justify buying the really big Misty because there is a much larger one, but I just can't can't justify it. So. I have not actually used this stamp yet, so I am going to prep my stamp. Um, I know the newer Maker Forte stamps are actually getting primed prior to those being, uh, while well, they're being manufactured. But all we want to do, so I have my uh, Primetime Stamp Conditioner, so I'm just going to spray this down while it's still on its backing sheet. And I'm going to let that sit for just a minute. And then we'll just wipe it off. And what this does is this takes some of that, the stickiness off of the front of the stamp. Because we don't want it on the front of the stamp. We want ink on the stamp. We don't want this, this part of the stamp sticking to something else. We want it to go down nicely when we go to stamp. If you don't have the spray, a lot of times you can actually just take like a microfiber cloth and just kind of wipe your stamps down and that does work as well. Um, okay, so let's get that opened up. Pull the back off of this. And we're going to line it up. Because I loved this stamp last year. And then I never did have So that's going to go down like that. And even though I really don't want my moon stamped black, um, I'm going to go ahead and leave that because chances are what I'm going to end up doing is probably just cutting a circle. Um, I've got a moon stamp over here somewhere. I'm just not sure where off the top of my head. Um, but I'll end up doing something different with the moon right there. So it's not going to be an issue. So I've got that lined up pretty close to where it needs to go. Yep, I think we're good there. So I'll just close the door my Misty and pick up my stamp. Maybe. <laughs> it's a lot of area. That's all I gotta say. A lot of surface area on that stamp. Apparently some background ink that is not totally dry. So there we go. But you know what? It's going to be fine because we are going to stamp this down with black ink. I'm just going to look and make sure I 
line this upright. Okay, there we go. So we're good there. I'm gonna grab my smusher tool and I'm gonna grab black ink. And normally I would use the Eclipse Black, but I want this really dark because we are gonna actually stamp it in black and then I'm gonna go back over it with um, clear so we have some and emboss it. Okay, so I'm actually using Oreo ink from um, Taylor Expressions. And I'm not actually gonna ink the little witch or the moon because I think we're gonna do something different with that. So I'm going to ink up the rest of this. Turn this, lay that down, go over with my smusher. And we'll cross our fingers that we're getting a good initial impression. So far so good. A little bit off, but that's okay. Because we're going to go back out again. Because honestly, probably with that moon, I might just, I think I've got like some yellow glimmer cardstock. spots in here that are not quite where we want them. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take my heat tool and I'm going to try and set this and see if that helps. And we'll go at it, at it again one more time with the black. So I'm going to dry this off a little bit. I'll be right back. Okay, so I heat set it. We're going to try this one more time. Solid stamps like this are, especially when they're the polymer stamps, are a little tricky. Um, solid stamps like this and like the rubber are a totally different story. Those usually stamp really, really easily like this. Um, which is why you don't typically see a whole lot of them um, in the polymer like this. But I know this came out before Maker Forte started making their own rubber stamps. In fact, there's our white rubber instead of red rubber, and they're really amazing. Okay. Well, it still is not perfect, but it's better than it was. So, let's stick that back in there. I'm actually going to clean this off. I'm going to switch to my other ink and see if maybe that helps. So, give me just one second. Find my cleaner, that stamp conditioner, that is my cleaner. Okay, so I'm going to wipe this one down. going to try the color hive this time. And we'll see. Yeah, this ink's a little bit different. Maybe that is my problem. Just don't get me wrong. I love the color hive ink. I love the tailored expressions ink. But in this case, that may be what my problem is. Okay, 
crush fingers. Here we go. Ah. Nope, we're stuck. Okay, so since I'm gonna emboss this, I'm actually gonna leave it like that for now. So I'm gonna come in here with the clear ink. Although before I do that, I actually need to make sure that's dry and I need to go over it with the powder tool. Okay, so I'm gonna come in here with my powder tool. Clear ink. Let's not roll that off the desk. That would be bad. We're gonna smush that down. Again, it's gonna move on us because this is just what's gonna happen. And we're gonna go in one more time with the clear to make sure we've got good coverage. Yes, that is clear ink, but my ink pad's like totally gross. I have a brand new one over there. I just can't bring myself to mess it up yet. <laughs> okay. So we're going to grab that out of there. We're going to pull this off of the mat. Maybe. sentiment and we're gonna try our black embossing powder and cross your fingers that this does not turn into a complete mess because it's me and it probably will so this is rainbow sparkler embossing powder from maker forte black but it's got some fun colors in there oh and of course we're gonna spill it of course we are because that's just how it's going to go today apparently okay Oops. all right really quickly okay so we are gonna heat set this I'm actually gonna start from behind and then come around to the front. Loving how that came out. Check out that sparkle. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside for a second, let it cool down. In the meantime, I'm gonna grab our card base, which is literally right here, not five minutes ago. Apparently lost. <laughs> oh no, there it is. Okay. So Slimline card, standard Slimline card size. Um, I am gonna go ahead and use this purple on the back matting. 
simply because I had cut this originally for my bats in the cathedral card, not realizing that I needed it to be bigger. Not standard slim line size. So there's my matting there. I'll let that sit for just a second. I'm gonna figure out what we're gonna do for our little moon there. Give me one second. Okay, so for the moon, I am actually going to use this um, Simply Stamped Moon Set from Tailored Expressions. This was part of a kit of the month um, over the summer and unfortunately is not available for purchase. But I think this is going to be perfect for what I'm trying to do here. All right, so I'm going to start with English Mustard. Ink that up. This is a layering set. Actually, that's not the color I wanted the English mustard on. This one was, but that's okay. Picked up the wrong one. That's okay. And it's red rubber, so I need to take that out. All right. So. Since we're going to cut this out, it's not going to matter, so I'm just going to flip that over and try again. Okay, I'm going to hit that one more time. layer which honestly it should be this one but I'm pretty sure the Yellowstone is not going to show up so I'm going to skip that layer and go to this one which I will say this is most definitely odd lining up a layering stamp that's red rubber <laughs> in here with the Hyde Park. Hyde Park is kind of a greenish yellow, so I think this is going to work. So we'll find out, won't we? Yep, I like it. Okay, we're going to hit it one more time. And there we go. Okay, so I will find a circle die or a punch and I will punch this out and that's going to go on our card. I'll move this out of the way. So we should be good to trim down our card front at this point. I was going to use that but I think I'm actually going to get out my trimmer. Okay so this layer we need it to be eight by three. along the bottom here. Okay. So we're going to go to three inches here, which is still going to put us like way up into that house. And I don't think I want to quite go that far into the house. I think we're going to come down a little bit more here. going to have to cut part of that off. It's okay. And then we need to go to eight inches out this way. So I am going to cut this off right here. So this was almost eight inches. So now this is actually too small. Of course it is. You know what? It's fine. We're going to go here, trim that off. And it will just, <sighs> except now I hate it. Of course I hate it. <sighs> you know, 
we're going to do? We're going to make it a mini slim. So instead of it being, except I've already matted this, it's okay. We will just have, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Okay, mini slims are six and a half by three and a half. So we're going to go about here and cut that off. And then we are going to go to our six and a half. be good which means we may not need the moon so I don't want to cut this out hold on so that needs to be so we're gonna do it at six and a half I want it to go right to that edge See, most things, most things, not everything, most things are salvageable. All right. So that actually isn't bad. I like that. That's okay. All right. So this I am actually going to put on some foam tape. So I'm going to go all the way across the back. done. <laughs> Grab the big roll now because I'm out of the little rolls. That's okay. And scissors. Scissors are always helpful. Particularly when paper crafting. Who knew, right? All I can say is thank God when I used to be on the card tutorial or card design team or stamp, stamp design team for Joanne Vance, I didn't have to do video tutorials. I just had to take pictures of stuff. Probably a good thing. I made, made it about five minutes. Because <laughs> even though I am perfectly capable of making cards, I am completely scatterbrained while I do it. But that's okay. All right. So there's that. We're going to go ahead and punch out our moon. Find a punch. It really works. I want to kind of see about how big I need to go. So we are going to go with one and a half inch circle punch. And cut some of that off the side there so I can kind of line this up where I want it. We are going to put that up here in this corner and kind of let it hang off the sides there. Just because I think it's going to look neat. side and I'm going to cut that off exactly with the edge of the card. So there we go. Now we just need our sentiment. For this one I'm going to use, I literally just have it, where'd it go? Oh, right here. Okay, so this one is another one of the Jillian Vance sets from a zillion years ago, which is probably the last time I actually made a Halloween card. So we are going to go with this 
little which way to the pinky. And you're going to stamp that down right there. You grab a stamp block. Sorry, guys. I know, honey. The cat's behind me and he was not real thrilled that I just moved his chair to get to my cabinet with stamp blocks. <laughs> That's okay. So you're going to live dangerously at this point because God knows anything that could have gone wrong on this card has. Actually, where's my other ink? Oh, Mr. Oreo ink, where did you go? There it is, okay. little bit darker ink. All right. So this one, we're going to go up here. Good enough. I'll take it. I'll turn this around and I'm going to find my little stamp. And this one, we most definitely need this stamp for. So this stamp says, made with a lot of love and a little bit of cussing by Jen Palmer. Because ain't that the truth. The cussing, of course, will get edited out of the video. You guys will never hear it unless I miss it, which I don't think I have yet, but it's always a distinct possibility. Okay. And then where we've got some other little kind of icky things there, I am actually just going to take have a stencil that had bats on it and I don't know what I've done with it. So we're going to use some jewels. There you go. You're back in your spot. So actually I'll fold this out flat. So these are Tailored Expressions Drip Drops and Cosmic. Love these things. I think they are fabulous. And we are going to glue some of these on here, here and there, and try to cover up where we had our little ink incident here. Although, let me see. Oh, wait. Sand eraser. Sand eraser is our friend. Oh, yeah. That's much better. Okay, so maybe we are good and we don't need our little gems. I think we are. I am, however, going to grab just a tiny bit of ink. why I leave all of my stupidity in these videos is so you know if you are similar <laughs> similarly challenged <laughs> you can figure out how to fix it. it gives you some ideas okay so another Halloween project done um, as always thank you for watching and check back next Monday for another 13 frights of Halloween project bye